groovy. Hey, you folks. In the background of today's video, you're going to marvel at just how awful a sniper I am. I suspect that I'm the worst, or at least one of the worst, snipers in all of Battlefield. I've been trying to level up my recon class to rank 20 for the past two weeks, and as of today, I'm only rank 17. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at that. Also, you may recall that in my last video, I went over how difficult it is to record HDR gaming. I'm using Marilla's Action to record this gameplay, so it is negatively affecting my frame rate. And that sucks. Today's video is going to be fairly quick, I think. Its subject is the recent Battlefield 5 patch that DICE launched last Wednesday. It did a number of things, fixed a bunch of things, broke a bunch of other things, and changed a few more things. Notice I said a lot of things. I'm not actually going to go through most of the detail of that. My primary concern is what they decided to do to some of the cheaters in the game, and how that action has, unfortunately, negatively affected us SLI users. First, let's acknowledge that Battlefield 5 has a terrible cheating problem. I suspect it's one of the worst of any Battlefield game at launch. I really don't know if Fair Fight or any other software-based anti-cheat is actually running in the background of Battlefield 5, but it certainly doesn't seem like it. I play a lot of Team Deathmatch when I want to just goof around. It's rife with cheaters. I actually have their names memorized at this point because I run into them so often. And no, it's not a quote, get good Jason unquote thing. I've specced them all, and I can clearly see that they're cheating. They don't even bother to try and hide it because they know there's no punishment for it. They can literally cheat with impunity and they know it. Those cheaters aren't the ones I'm referring to for the rest of this video. Instead, I'm referencing the ones that have decided to edit the NVIDIA profile for Battlefield 5 and drop the game's level of detail to such low levels that the game actually looks like a 1980s Atari console game. No, it's not quite that bad, but almost. These are to levels that the game itself doesn't actually let you change yourself. You have to go into the profile to do it. The results are that enemy players stick out like sore thumbs, all shadowing is gone, and while it's not a wall hack, it might as well be. This is known as the LOD, or Level of Detail Bias Cheat. Over the past couple of months, popular YouTubers such as Jack Frags have made videos about this problem. Jack even went so far as to create a secondary account to enable the cheat on, just to show people the results. He didn't instruct people how to do the cheat. He just showed the results. Search his channel for the video if you want. You should be able to find it pretty easily. And as a quick aside, I'm not going to put links in the description or pointers to other videos or anything like that for the stuff that I'm talking about here. I don't want to do anything that even remotely helps the LOD cheaters or any other cheater for that matter. I'll just leave it to the viewer to do their own respective searches if they want to. Anyway, after Jack's video, DICE made a couple of public statements strongly condemning the LOD cheaters, and they promised they were working on a fix. Cool. Cheaters suck, and they should all be strung up by their unmentionables. But I had a concern gnawing away at the back of my brain when DICE said this, just based on what I've see been seeing from that studio over the past few months in regards to this game specifically. The concern was, how would DICE do this, and what other effects would there would it have? A couple of months ago, I produced a video and then later wrote a blog entry that describes how to get SLI working in Battlefield 5. The key part of that process is, use the NVIDIA inspector to edit the Battlefield 5 profile. In other words, using the same tool the cheaters are using to edit the same profile the cheaters are editing. But the key difference is that we're flipping some SLI bits in the profile while they're editing the level of detail bits. Let's be clear. The NVIDIA profiles for each game have a ton of settings in them. SLI is just one small part of it. So are the level of detail bits. There are a bunch of other settings in each profile that you can change and royally screw your game's performance up if you want to. It's best not to though. Generally, you want to leave the profile settings at their defaults unless you know what you're doing. Now back to the cheaters. They edit the LOD bits, and then they have a game which makes everything super visible. When DICE dropped the patch last week, it fixed that. No more LOD cheats. 
and no more SLI. What DICE decided to do was exactly what I was concerned with. They heavy-handed a solution that involves using the NVIDIA backend APIs to just reset the profile. It doesn't check anything, it just tells the API, hey, reset the Battlefield 5 profile to its defaults. Done. LOD cheaters have their LOD settings reset, and SLI do users do as well. The end user is never told it's happening. They never have to approve it happening. And if the user has is running Windows UAC, they're never alerted to it. That's bad. That's very bad. At no point should a game be touching files on my PC that it doesn't have authorization to. DICE and other EA games have authorization to play around in the origin and origin games directory. That's their playground. But they do not have authorization to play around with the operating system driver level files that are elsewhere on my PC. And every other user should feel the same way. This seems sleazy to me. I'm sure NVIDIA did their due diligence and made sure Microsoft was okay with those API calls changing the profile files. So it's probably perfectly okay in theirs and Microsoft's eyes that UAC doesn't alert to it. But there are probably better ways to handle this and DICE is going to need to work on those better ways very soon. Let's talk about that. First, instead of just br blindly resetting the profile, how about they use the same NVIDIA API to check the profile? Ask the API if the LOD settings were changed in any way, but just the LOD settings. If they were changed, throw an error, prevent the user from playing any online games until he or she resets them. This takes more work, but they're going to have to do it. The reason for that is simple. We in the SLI community took about a half hour after the patch was released last week to discover what DICE had done, and we quickly figured out a workaround. So, the gameplay you're watching is with SLI running. It takes a couple of extra annoying steps to do, but they're done. The issue is, if we figured it out, so too did the LOD cheaters. I can almost promise you that. Now, I mean the following criticism with all due respect, of course. I'm concerned what I've seen from the dice that we have now. It seems like a very different dice than what released previous Battlefield games. The, the solutions they've come up with since the launch of the game have generally been of the ready, fire, aim type. Examples include the disastrous addition of the .85 damage multiplier to every gun at Christmas time to deal with the TTK TTD issues. or blindly cranking the volume level of all footsteps a few patches ago, thereby muddling all footstep audio completely. And now this one. The picture I'm forming in my head is a group of developers that don't play the game that they're developing and don't think about the changes that they're making. They don't strategize and plan out. They just react. I really hope for better from them in the coming months. And to circle back to this vids topic, they need an active client-side and server-side anti-cheat system running. And they need to do a more thorough and careful job with the LOD cheaters as well. Now, after all that, thanks for listening to my rant. Again, I apologize for not leaving links to the stuff I've, just spoken, I've spoken about, but I don't want to make it any easier for cheaters to find this stuff. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll catch you later.